Alrighty guys, good morning and welcome back to another video today. So I'm in my backyard right now because, check this out, we got a new toy on the Ginu. On the Fly Jack Plates, new sponsor of the channel. There's just one problem, I'm waiting on a part today. So see this little gap right here? I need to get a part, which I'm going to get later in the afternoon, but that basically means my Ginu is uh, out of commission for the day. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy. This is my boat Rackham right here. I'm going to get it loaded up into the truck. We're going to head out and uh, we're going to throw around some no live bait needed little mullets for some fish. So let's get this guy loaded up. Just in case anyone's wondering how I load a 12 foot paddle board in a bed as short as mine, literally just like this. Has to stick out a little bit, but got a little red tag here that flops around in the wind so you can see it better. But let's be real, how could you not see this giant board sticking out? Uh, but I will see you guys on the water. Alrighty guys, good morning and welcome back. So we have finally made it out on the water on the paddleboard here. And uh, yeah, we are gonna be throwing this guy today. This is the, let me see if that'll, this is the NLBN low mullet, AKA no live bait needed low mullet. It's a fluke style bait. I've partnered up with no live bait needed for today's video to uh, talk to you guys about this bait, show you guys what it can do and drop you guys a discount code for the next 48 hours on no live bait needed. Now. Uh, these low mullets have been pretty much out of stock since my last video where I caught the 45 inch snook So they will be back in stock when you guys are seeing this video right now So if you've been wanting to try this bait, uh, they're gonna be back in stock right now um, So the code to save 15% off on literally anything on no live bait needed's website is JM 15 save yourself 15% off and it helps benefit the channel So go grab yourself some of these you guys can also grab like the five inch paddle tails or the nine inch paddle tails or the nine inch flukes. They make a lot of cool baits that are designed to catch big, big fish. But today we're gonna to be using it for redfish, trout, and snook, and kind of just about whatever will eat it. Now, it is basically a fluke style bait, so I can fish it very, well, I can fish it in many different areas. Basically, I can fish it, see how there's a dock behind me, there's a mangrove over there. I can fish it everywhere, skip it under things, twitch it out, get bites and stuff like that. But we're gonna keep it short today and get right into the video. All right, so one thing that's different from the last video, uh, No Live Bait Needed now sells all the hooks you'll need on their website. So I know one of the biggest questions when you uh, buy these baits, they don't come with hooks. So the question is, what hook do you use? I use the 5.0 Gamakatsu uh, weighted. It has a 1 8 ounce, uh, or maybe it's 3 16 ounce. I can't remember the exact weight. Uh, on the bottom there and what that basically does is just help it sink a little bit quicker from the time it hits the water so let me show you guys some of the action here so it usually let me see it'll land and give it a little bit of sink it sinks pretty quickly compared to no weight see how you can't see it anymore but when you twitch it it still goes kind of that left to right action just like that whatever you want the bait to do you can make it do if you twitch it fast it'll kind of stay up towards the surface and if you twitch it slow it'll sink down and work kind of like a twitch bait you guys probably can't see that but it'll do a lot of different things based on the speed that you work it and that's really good because it's very versatile and it's also sporadic in the way it moves it's not something that's very predictable in its movement and i think that's very good especially when you're snook fishing snook like to just uh i don't know they like when they're following something they like it to go in a very random like oh left right and it, that's what gets them going sometimes when baits are just very like straight or just like a left to right it doesn't always trigger them as well as something that's going to move like all crazy directions even up and down as well which is really cool but we're just going to paddle through these docks here and fingers crossed i can pull out some fish today not always easy to catch fish on a paddle board to be honest but we can make it happen and one great thing about a paddle board is i can slide under docks just like this same thing i can do with my guinea i can do with the paddle board 
just like that. All right, let's catch some. Oh, nice snow was on that. First follow up I had a day, I think he came out of there and I got the lure to come up to the surface and he put his head up on it and looked right right at me. I think we made some eye contact there with that. <laughs> tiny one <laughs> all right first decent eat of the morning that was like a 12 inch snook he was definitely not much bigger than the lure came out of the trees there and ate but he shook it probably because he was not much bigger than the five and a half inch little mullet Snook ate it back there in that pocket and didn't get the hook. That was a nice snook too. I'm gonna to push off and put another cast in there. Whew. Whew. It's like mini heart attacks when snook eat this thing sometimes. Is he still back in there? He might still be. Hard pop on it, man. <laughs> oh, I don't know if this is the same fish or not, but skipped it back in there six feet and he ate it like the second it hit the water. That happens so often because it really just looks real. Ate it the second it touched the water. It's like the second it was skipped, stop, boosh, ate it. All right, let's go for a landing on this paddleboard. Always a little sketchy, but I think we could do it. We got him. We got him right there. I'm really curious. Was that the same fish that blasted it the first time in that dark shadow? That's a nice fish though. Hooked right in the top of the mouth, right where you want to hook a fish. Especially with lighter leader. These snook can fray you so easily. But hey, we got a fish. We got one. All right. Get this guy unhooked here. Pop that out. Back in the water, bud. That's a nice snook. He's probably 20, probably 25. Whew. We got one. I've probably been fishing for about an hour and a half. It's been kind of cloudy here and there, muddy water. Finally, the suns came out, clear water, and we're able to pull one out of the trees there. So we okay, go ahead and investigate this leader real quick. Let me see. It's all crushed up. I might, I probably need to re-rig it. It's all tangled up here. Go ahead and take the bait off. I think I might need to tie up a new leader. I'm using 30 pound mono. If I didn't say that earlier, I can't remember or not, but eh, a little frayed there, a little frayed. This is once again, that five aught Gamakatsu. You guys can find these on No Live Bait Needed's website now. Uh, previously they weren't, they weren't on their website, but now they sell, sell all different kinds of hooks that'll fit the little mullets. And this is my favorite. <laughs> I think that was another snook that wasn't much bigger than the <laughs> little mullet. That was a nice snook, big snook, big snook. Keep his head out of the water. That was a big snook. I might need to jump in the water here. God, I was not expecting this. This has got to be the biggest snook I could have possibly hooked today. Oh. 
keep that fish's head out of the water, we can get him. Light tackle, light drag. That's... That was so sick. Oh man. Stay with me, girl. Oh, that happened so fast, man. I could tell the fish was on it, so I started working it faster and faster and faster. And then all I did was keep her head out of the water, because if she got her head in the water, she was gonna get me into the trees, no doubt. Oh man, that's a nice snook. All right, I'm gonna just keep her here in the water for just 20 seconds, and then I'll hold her up. I was not expecting that. I swear I saw a tarpon floating under the tree mid-cast. So I was like, oh, I think I spooked him. And then I started working it and I noticed a fish was on it. And then this guy came up and inhaled it and it ended up being a snook. So I don't know if I saw a tarpon really to begin with. And maybe he had a snook with him or maybe this was the fish, fish I saw. All right. Oh. <laughs> That's a slot fish right there. That fish is probably, I'd say it's probably 30 inch snook right there. Beautiful, beautiful snook. I wish I wasn't on my paddle board so I could pull my big camera out, but I don't wanna risk it. Beautiful fish. Hopefully you guys can see that there. That is definitely probably a 30 incher. And hooked right in the top of the mouth where they're supposed to be hooked. Ooh, pop that out. I'm gonna spin this guy around right here. <sighs> beautiful. That was so sick, so sick. From seeing the fish floating, if this was, that was even the fish I saw floating, to the chase and then the eat, amazing. I'm gonna spin him around here and shoot him into the tree. Oh, what a beast, man. What a beast. I'm out here just trying to catch anything. Little snook, little reds, anything, and I get a 30 incher. This lure, I'll tell you what, no joke, if there is a big fish to be caught or found anywhere, this lure will find it and they will eat it like nothing else. There is nothing like it, I swear. I've caught my biggest redfish, trout, and snook this year on a little mullet. Oh, almost dropped it in the water. Biggest redfish, trout, and snook so far this year have came on this lure. This is the uh, smoked mullet color. I've got a couple other ones right here. And this is the fresh mullet color. I like them both. They're both the colors they have in stock most often, but I think they are doing a limited drop, which is happening right now over on their website where I think they have the special color greenback in stock, which is greenback, white belly. But hey, we got it done. We got it done. I'm just out here trying to catch anything, man. Anything because I'm on my paddleboard, boats out of commission. And we're getting it done, man. We're getting it done. Let me climb back up right here. Whew, hyped for that one. That was a fight too, because I knew if that fish got its head in the water and was able to dig, look at this mess of stuff he could get me into. All of this, it would have been a nightmare. But kept that fish's head out of the water, really didn't give it much, and it burns most of its energy just jumping and shaking its head. Luckily, I had a good hook set though, so we'll keep it going. We'll keep it going, we'll find another one. All right guys, so I'm gonna give you guys a good tip about how to work these little mullets. Now, a lot of people have issues with it, and I see a lot of questions on how to actually work it. Now, a lot of people think that this bait is going to work a perfect left to right action, like a topwater. That is not true at all. It is actually really hard to get it to do that. What it does most of the time is go from like a left, left, right, left, right. Like it's very sporadic. That's what it'll do most of the time. And I wish it was a little bit sunnier so I could show you guys a better example but it'll basically do that. It won't be a perfect left to right action. Now, I don't usually even go for that type of action. A lot of times what I will do is what I call like a frantic, I don't know, like a frantic retrieve method where you're gonna skip it under something and then you're basically just gonna reel it back just like this. So if you do, I'm gonna do that one more time just so you guys can get a better look at it. Where I'm just gonna reel it real back real quickly, reel it back quickly, just like that. What that does is that looks exactly the same as when you throw a live mullet and that mullet is spooked and he's frantically trying to get away. What does he look like? He looks just like that. Just like that, putting a V on the surface and pushing a little bit left to right, left to right. 
that's what I go for most of the time. Occasionally I'll slow it down and just bump it, just left to right, bump it, let it do what it wants to do. If it wants to pop up and down and pop up and down, work it a little bit quicker or slow it down a little bit. Find whatever works best. And I can't tell you exactly what'll work best because some people use different hooks, different weights. So it just depends. It depends on what you're fishing, uh, what hook you're using, uh, whether you're throwing under docks, under mangroves, stuff like that. And basically, Here's an example. If I'm gonna go skip a dock just like I did there, that's a low-lying dock, great place for snook to be sitting under. I'm gonna reel it out of there as quick as possible, just like that. So skipping away, going left to right, left to right, left to right, just going boom, 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 boom. And that looks exactly like a live mullet. Try that, guys. See if you'll have any better luck with these. This is by far my favorite snook lure. For that reason, it looks exactly like a live mullet. See a really big snook from here, 12 o'clock. I don't know, should I cast or I'm gonna push just a little bit closer to him? Really big snook. Unless it's a trout, it's hard to see from here. Kind of looks like a trout actually. Oh, it's a snook, it's a snook. Oh, he's on it. like a 27 28 inch snook you guys probably could, probably didn't have a good angle on that like i did but he chased it hard all the way back to the boat right there left right left right and i was just trying to find the right rhythm to get him to pull the trigger and he just didn't <sighs> i feel like maybe i should have worked it a tad bit faster for him i saw that fish from a mile away got a good cast on him this close to getting him to eat he spooked off right as he was like three feet from the boat but he was still on it all the way up until three feet away all right. Oh, nice snook right here. Oh my God. He missed it. What a blow up. What a blow up, man. He's right here. Oh. Oh, so close, man. That fish shot like four feet out of the water to try to eat that. Oh. So close, so close. They're popping in. A lot of these 18 inch snook will blast the crap out of a little mullet and they are realistically not big enough to eat it. <laughs> Under the dock. Here. Oh, you got it! Oh, what a cast, man! Oh, I might have to jump out of the boat here. Oh, stay with me. Oh, man! That was a dime. Oh, it's under his gill plate. Oh, no, that's not good. That is really not good. He might get me right here. Let me jump. The line stuck under his gill plate. Oh, I'm gonna work him lightly here. I really don't want this fish to cut me. All right, I think it's out of the gill plate. Oh, I don't like that I can't see the hook. Oh, I can see it now. We're good, we're good, we're good. Get out of the trees. Oh, I got her. Oh man, what a day, man. Oh, I see another snook sitting right there. I saw that fish come cruising by in that sandy, sandy area right there. And I knew I had to put that cast on her before she got to the mangroves because it would be much more difficult to pull her out of the mangroves than to get her like I just did there. Nice fish. Probably uh, another probably 25, 26 inch snook there. So sick, man. Gotta love being able to sight cast fish with artificials, especially when it's top water. Top water eats, oh, nothing better. I mean, a few things better. Maybe a giant snook blasting a mullet. That would be pretty cool too, but I'll take this. Pop that out right there. 
that is how you do it. I was a bit scared there because that line was pinched under those gill plates. And if you don't know, gill plates are really sharp. There she goes. Oh, boat's drifting away. Come here. Oh. Yep. Gill plates are extremely sharp and they can cut you even if you had a 100 pound mono. An 18 inch snook could cut a gill cut using their gill plates. Let's investigate. Ooh, a little bit of a fray, a little bit of a fray. I'll go ahead and retie that, but I'll take it. As long as we got to grab that fish and release it, I'm happy. That's awesome. That was so cool. All right, so I just went ahead and retied up new leader and I changed colors of my little mullet. This is the fresh mullet color. It reminds me of a silver mullet. And uh, let me show you guys in comparison. This is the smoked mullet color. Reminds me more of a striped mullet or how do I say this? A black mullet. And that is their two main colors. They do make a couple other colors, but they're mainly limited batch colors where you guys gotta, you know, stay up to date with no live bait needed uh, stuff. And they drop special edition colors that sell out in minutes. But we're using the two most common colors today. And you guys just gotta be quick with these uh, little mullet because they'll sell out in literally less than an hour. Sometimes the last video they sold out in like five minutes and they are all hand poured. So unfortunately the guys that no live bait needed can't make like a million at a time. They gotta make them one at a time literally. But hey, we knocked out some fish today. I'll take it. Regardless of the color, we knocked them out. Oh, I missed that one. That was on me. <laughs> oh. Dang, I got too excited. The second he hit it, I pulled back, which I should have given him maybe a second or two to get that bait down. Hope you guys could hear that. I know I hear the lawnmower, but that was sick. Every time, every time it hits back under the trees, you start to move it like a foot, boom. It's like the best feeling. We got it! Oh, hoo -hoo. God, that was so awesome. Oh no, he's pulling me in the trees here. I'm gonna step out. Oh, dude! That broke my rod, dude. Oh, you won't believe what happened there. As I'm trying to step out, get out of there. As I'm trying to step out the freaking boat, a bigger snook comes up and hits the little mullet because the little mullet's stuck on the line here. Boat's drifting away. Oh, come here. God. A bigger snook, like a 30 incher, came up and hit the little mullet because it's dangling on the line just like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. I just heard a loud splash and watch that thing try to inhale it but it's literally just line <laughs> all right fish are chewing fish are chewing as a nice fish another probably 20 this one's probably 22 not as big not as big as the ones from earlier but oh, wow that was pure excitement i've never had a snook do that and he literally ate the plain bait <laughs> hanging on the line <laughs> oh that's like when snook are feeding, they all feed at once because they all get excited. They all go to see what the other one's doing. That happens a lot in like when you're fishing the inlet, bridges, stuff like that. It seems like everyone hooks up at once when you're fishing with people. Uh, that's really how it is. That fish, I don't know where that bigger fish came out of, but the action of the shaking from this snook brought him in and he was hungry. <sighs> what a <laughs> chaos, man. Chaos. <laughs> oh. 
Alrighty guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Um, we pretty much, I think we did a solid job. I, I couldn't use my Ginu today, so we took out the paddleboard, we knocked out some good fish on the low mullet, and we got the job done. What we get, like a 30, 225s, and then that probably 22 at the end. That was a good day of snook fishing, if you ask me. And uh, if you guys wanna grab the low mullet, code JM15. Uh, to save 15% off on your order from no live bait needed. But it only lasts 48 hours and little mullets sell out very quick. You guys might see this video a few hours after it comes out and they might already be sold out. So be quick over there, check them out, try them. They're really great. I, I mean, they speak for themselves. I've caught my biggest redfish trout and snook this year on a little mullet. So. I think that says a lot, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. It's free to do so, and it helps out the channel a ton. So that is going to be it for today, guys. I will see you guys in the next video.